And something's, it feels like it's already on it. Oh, it is already on it. Oh, all right, dude. Dude, stand up, stand up. Here. We are fishing Topsail Beach today, North Topsail Beach to be exact. This is the overpass. I'm gonna throw for some bait first and then see if we can catch a big red. That was it, that was it, that was it. Here, right in front of me, Nishi. Right in front of you? Yeah, like literally. Oh, here's a small school right in front of me. Heading up the shallow water first. Super windy today, so we're just gonna play by ear, use some lures first, and we'll get going. I just put myself real close to this dock. Almost too close there. Everywhere I go, it seems like I find osprey. There he goes. It's the osprey here. There's got to be some red drum here, right? All right, made it to the hot spot. We are going to throw top water for first couple casts, and then we're going to try to work in the uh, live bait. But I don't feel like top water is the way to go right now. Make this as quiet as possible. All right, I'm working with like two feet of water. bait right over some oyster beds that I know are there. <clears throat> Boat's gonna make a big swing here. Oh, it's a flounder. Oh, yes. Got me a little flounder, guys. Look at this guy. I told him to go bounce, bounce, little bounce, bounce, and then boom, got him. Woohoo, one fish on the board. That is what I'm talking about. He's probably not going to keep. He seems kind of small. And you got a little flounder right there. Size like just a little bit bigger than my hand, so I'm just going to go ahead and let him right back in the water. I really don't think he's a keeper in any way, so you guys are just going to get the little GoPro shot. One little flounder on. Where's the sun? The sun's right behind me. So you got one little flounder on. Yep. This guy's gonna go right back in the water. See Still working the top water. You guys off as soon as the fish is biting. Got one though, guys. Woohoo! Fish on. Ah, it's a big red drum. Or a good size one at least. Drew, can you uh, help me out with the net? Just right underneath your pull the um. Yep. Woo! You okay? It's hot. Oh, I can't believe I turned off the camera as soon as I set the hook. But I had to set the hook, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys just missed the hook set. Just barely. Alright, but here he is, guys. I told you I'd find one on the spot. We got one flounder and one red drum. He's, he's boating me. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo. Yep, you're fine. I'm enjoying this fight. All right, it's okay. You got it. All right, thank you, co-pilot. I didn't have to go digging for the net this time, thanks to Miss Julie. All right, we're gonna pull this guy in the boat. 
Look at that fish, guys. I mean, he's putting the last little fight right now. Whew. All right, you done now, buddy? Are you done? Oh, he had the bait for a long time. All right. Boom. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, there's a tournament going on right now, guys. And this would have been my keeper for that tournament. Look at this guy. Bam, 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 bam. All right, guys. We're going to get this little fish on camera real quick. Bam. Looks like a beautiful slot fish, probably 24 inch or 25 inch. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you guys for watching. We're going to get a bunch of these today. Hopefully, that's how today goes. Bam. Thanks. All right, I'll get a quick little measurement on them. He swallowed the hooks, so we might have to take him home. He is a 24 inch fish, just like I thought. All right. So I made a deal with the wife. I cut the hook inside him. I'm going to tie him to the boat. And if he makes it through the whole day, we will uh, we'll leave him alone and we'll just let him stay here. But if he doesn't, then I'm probably just going to have to take him home. Red curry? Yeah. And make some red curry with him. Yep. I didn't throw the fish back in the water all the way. I've got him tied to my wife's seat here. He's got 20 pound, 20 pound mono on him. If you don't have a live well, this is a really good way to keep a fish alive. So there he is. I put a hook, circle hook through his mouth. So if it falls out, it falls out. But for now, he's kicking and swimming, so he should be okay. We're gonna give him some. We're gonna give him some time to uh, heal up, and then if he is kicking by the end of this trip, we're gonna go ahead and throw him back in the water. But you know, we'll see. Actually, wait a minute. We're two for three. One of them died on me. One of the baits died on me. I think we got another one here, guys. He's not committing to it. Oh. And something's, it feels like it's already on it. Oh, it is already on it. Oh, all right, dude. Dude, stand up, stand up. Here, 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 here. Real, he's behind you. Turn around. It's hot, Just turn it's that hot. way. Oh, shoot. put your shoes on. Put your shoes on. Here, here. Oh, he's a big one too. No, 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 okay, you do so it. you just reel, okay? But yeah, but when he pulls, oh, when he pulls, let him pull, okay? Got it? Oh, hold on. Oh, that's a stingray. <laughs> that's a ray. Oh, yeah, no, come on, come here. Fight him. That's the best first fish to fight because they fight so dang hard. I don't want him. Okay, okay. I don't want him. All right, all right, fine. I'll get him in. <laughs> he was not interested in the ray. It's actually called a skate, but he's stuck on the bottom. Whew. Three species already. Look how quick that was. Escape. Nope, I'm gonna get the hook out of him, out of this guy. Got Just like that, he's gone. Time to catch him up. Just got a fresh bait tied on here. Got one. Oh, I think that's a big flounder. Woo! Do you wanna bring him in? No, you oh, he's running right to the boat. Just come right to the boat, right to the boat, right to the boat, right to the boat. That might be a red drum. Right here, right here, right here. Oh, don't go under anchor. Oh, it's a big red drum. It's a big red drum. Holy cow. Holy cow. Got him, guys. Got him. Thank goodness. Woohoo! Still in the mood to fight, huh, little guy? He's about the same size as the previous one, so that's two. We got number one and number two. Do you want to finish him off? Hot. Got the net ready to go this time. Left it out from earlier. And we got him, guys. Woohoo! He's got lots of energy left. <laughs> he came in super green. I mean, super green. All right, got one. Damn, guys. Oh, oh, oh. Chill, dude, chill. We don't want you to fall, but chill, chill dude. Man. He wants to follow this one. Get a quick measurement on this guy. Like I said, I think he's the same as earlier. He's a little bit shorter. He's 23 inches. But. Alright. Bang. Got another one, guys. Look how pretty this one is. Alright, we're gonna let this guy go right back in the water. Follow me. I gotcha. The money shot. Hey, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> Definitely fighter. Good to go. Damn, that's two for today. Update on the fish that I put on the stringer. Oh, he is kicking super strong. 
and he's super red too so we're gonna go ahead and take him off and uh, let him go back in the water so. all right so this is what i did all i did was put a little hook through his mouth tied him to some 20 pound mono kept them right next to the boat just so I can keep an eye on them and now we're gonna let them go so this was the first fish we first red tongue we caught Hi, fishy. and just like that guys he is swimming off and he's looking healthy so good to go right, we are leaving the hot spot to go find another hot spot yep. <laughs> we'll go home either one <laughs>